What's up, YouTube? It's Mikey. We are doing an exclusive takeover of Josh Altman's YouTube channel. He has no idea I'm doing this. He has no idea that this property is even on the market, okay? Now, I'm not in real estate, but when I see a property, I know a property. Follow me, YouTube. Look at this. This could be yours for the price of zero dollars. You come down to Manhattan Beach, I mean, look at this. Hey, what's up? I'm not supposed to be on here? Okay. Huh? Uh, hey, hey, have a good day. I'm getting off, I'm getting off. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Lifeguard was not playing no games. Hold on, YouTube, let's get ourselves together because we're about to see boss men, so. Okay, this place is awesome. Are you out of breath? Uh oh, it's, it's raining, so. Oh, you guys ran because of the rain? Yeah, yeah. The one day a year yeah. that it rains out here in Manhattan <laughs> Beach. Yeah. Welcome, we got a special day because we're showing Manhattan Beach how you're never really gonna see Manhattan Beach, but we're gonna do it anyways. Welcome to 325 9th Street, Manhattan Beach. This is one of those listing appointments that I went on and I was like, well, first of all, Matt was thinking about making an offer during the listing appointment, which happens every once in a while with my brother. Yeah. But there's very <laughs> few listings that I would actually live in. I'm actually more of a pain in the butt than all of my clients when it comes to finding houses that I really love and would live in. Right. This is one of them. But you know, the thing about Manhattan Beach is that people who live in Manhattan Beach, they stay in Manhattan Beach. Right. Now this is very typical of Manhattan Beach living, which is gonna be three stories. So we're about a little under 4,000 square feet and we're about 15 to 1,600 a foot, okay? Okay. And there's not a lot of inventory. So if you're in Manhattan Beach and you wanna you know, spend between five and six million dollars, guess what? You're gonna see me because there's not that many choices and I got one of them. It's just got a really Look like homey feel. Stone. Look at the different colors in the stone. I like this. It actually pulls out the green, uh, which is nice. It's unique. This is one of those pieces of stone. Like when Heather and I were doing our kitchen in our house, which you've seen, yeah. we went to seven different stone yards. This was like this special piece of stone we found that was, you know, one of a kind. Right. People take their stone on their kitchen counter very seriously. And it could be the difference of someone being like, oh, this is a cool kitchen too. Oh man, this is an awesome kitchen. Kitchens and bathrooms uh, sell properties, gotcha. believe it or not. Kitchen is the number one uh, deal, make or break in a, in a house when you're showing it. And I'll tell you why this one's so important. Because we're hanging out here, our kids are hanging out there. I mean, this is it. This is the hub of the, of the house. This right. is the family part of the house, but it's also a bachelor house, also a great pied de terre. You see on a nice day, those doors are open, you're chilling and something super unique. Come here real quick. We are on one of the best walk streets. You know what a walk street is? Come here. Ah, oh, it's wet over there. I'm gonna show you in a minute. You see that? There's no street in front of this house. It's called a walk street. So that's amazing for kids and Manhattan Beach, has amazing schools, just so you know. They're known for their school system out here. Gotcha. This is an amazing family house because you got a walk street in front of you. Kids can play out here. They can play out in what is the street, but it's not the street. And you got neighbors all around here, very kid friendly area. At all times, you're gonna see like a couple bicycles left out there right. or a basketball. I love that. I mean, we're not the beachiest people around. You <laughs> might be like a little, Beachiest, <laughs> <laughs> this actually was originally the oh. dining room, but they decided for their lifestyle, the sellers, that they were more casual. They have the breakfast nook and they all kind of eat in the kitchen and uh, they made this into a little movie theater. Premium. Million dollar listing watch. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Or yeah. even YouTube. 
You guys ever watch yourself on TV or on YouTube or whatever? Like I watch Million Dollar Listing and I don't think I look like that dude on the show. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Adds 10 pounds. <laughs> this is cool. I love this. This is like, uh, this is just so storybook. You know what I mean? Hey mom, I'm home. Hang up your jacket, Absolutely. take your sneakers off. That's what it is. Absolutely. So uh, this house is currently staged. We actually moved out all the personal stuff in this house because we wanted to give the buyers who walk in here uh, a chance to imagine it as their house. And note to self, note to buyers, sellers, agents out there, most people don't have really good imagination. They just don't. Like Mikey, you have a good imagination. Yeah. Like you're full of shit. Thank you. And um, so, you know, he imagines things. <laughs> he imagines things that, but most people that walk through a house, if there's too much personal stuff in the house, uh, then they can't see themselves living there. They just see whoever owns the house living there. But, uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. All right, come on up, Mikey. You about to piss me off with some beautifulness? Nah, this is cool. It's not what you would expect in this house, but I actually think it ended up turning out to be the best part of the house. After you, Mike. So check this, this out. Nice, dude. This is the actual wallpaper at the Beverly Hills Hotel, one of my favorite places on the planet. Fact number two, I got the same wallpaper in my, uh, in my powder room at my house. You do? Yeah, remember that time you blew up my powder room? <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> if you're like me and my wife, Heather, we both work, so yeah. we both like to have our different spaces to close deals. I walked into my wife the other day, she told me to get out. <laughs> she was in the middle of a deal. I'm like, hey baby, you need help? Get out. Like, <laughs> yes, right, come on. yes, ma'am. Now we don't show these a lot, right? We don't go in the laundry rooms a lot, but a good laundry room, you won't know anything about this. Washer dryer laundry rooms are so important. And what's cool about this is if you do need to double stack, you have room to do it here, which believe it or not, the washer dryers are going on uh, in my house nonstop. Yeah. Uh, because when you have kids, that's just what happens. Look at this. It's time for school. Please sit. Oh, this is? Yeah, this Dude, is school. This is totally set up for. Yeah, pandemic proof Sm in Manhattan Beach here. Smacking your brother on yeah. the head. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Can you picture, can you picture us in school? No, dude, we would never get anything done. Okay, class, the test is almost finished. Hey, what's that answer? Hey, hey Mikey. What's that answer? Five, five. <laughs> hey, did you see Becky? Oh my God. <laughs> Mr. Altman, Mr. Rossi, shut up. I don't know how we would figure this out. I wonder who was the worst student, me or you. Did you go to college or no? No. Okay, so I got further than you. Yeah. However, I may have not have done it all on my own. <laughs> <laughs> did you take the SATs? I didn't take the you SATs. You didn't take them. No. Uh, I, I did beyond poorly on my SATs. Yeah. Parents even make fun of me. They're like, you couldn't add, but you can add commissions, huh? Yeah, and, you you're know. pretty good at math. Okay, so let's test you. Let's test you here. Okay. If you're selling a house for $6.5 million, yep. what is your commission on that in Manhattan Beach? In Manhattan Beach, here we go. What I like to do in my head is I, I times it by two, so 65 and 65 is 130, and then you gotta take half of that 65, which is 32 and a half. Yep. So it's 130 plus 32 and a half, that's 162.5 thousand dollars. That's two and a half percent. How do you like them apples? <laughs> He's right too, because I did the math in my head, and that's my head told me that that was right. So, <laughs> so you got great bedrooms here, a little Jack and Jill. I love oh, this cool. because it's cool. You can walk yeah. through. Matt and I, my brother and I, uh, we shared a bathroom. Me, my brother, and my father, we all shared one bathroom. And uh, <laughs> that's funny. I isn't didn't that know funny that. if yeah, you think yeah. about it? Yeah. 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 And and years later, I went back to the house that we grew up in, and. Uh, I knocked on the door, I said, hey, my name's Josh Altman. Um, I used to live here, is it cool if I come in? And I walked through the house, the bathroom was so small. Oh my God, it was crazy. So uh, also note to nannies out there, uh, the nice nanny who let me in the house while the kids were there and the parents were gone, could have been a stranger. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Don't let people who said, hey, I used to live here, in your house, okay? So this actually was one big room originally when the owners bought it. They made it into two beautiful bedrooms which made it even more kind of family friendly. Yeah. So you got four bedrooms on this level, master upstairs, that's five. Uh, and that's pretty much as big of a house that you're gonna find here under 4,000 square feet in Manhattan Beach. Snap. Welcome Rack to the master. 
Welcome to the master bedroom level. That's right. I said level because the entire third floor of this house is all master. Like the yeah. fire, you got the beach a couple blocks down. I mean, we are in very, very close proximity to the waves to the point where you can almost hear the waves, which is pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, so we'll start over here. Oh, oh, it's like a reading nook. Yeah. I, I think, like, I love that office downstairs. Yeah. Which would you take? Which would you guys take? Would you take the office downstairs with the Beverly Hills Hotel wallpaper, or would you take this off the master where you have, you know, a 300 degree view and you're kind of on top of the world with your own patio? I think this is the one for me. I mean, I could probably live in this. This might be bigger than my apartment in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. This is awesome. Yeah, it's still raining. I mean, you guys aren't, you don't get to actually feel the amazingness of, here, just just go go without me. Um, the amazingness of uh, Manhattan Beach and what we're looking at there, but look at that. The walk street in front, beautiful houses. You got the beach right there. Can you see the water? Can you see that, Ben? Yep. There you go. I'm gonna bet Mikey a hundred bucks if he can pronounce this name on this book. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Everybody knows what that is. Come on, man. <laughs> Everybody knows it's sad. Stad. Good skiing. That's what I said. So check this out. Go on in there. Oh, shit. Look at that window. Isn't that a cool window? Yeah, this is awesome. It's like a boat window. I've never opened that. Can you open that? I don't want to break this shit. I don't. You fuck with me? Oh, snap. there you go. Never opened that window before. I actually didn't want to look like dumb, I just did. dumb on YouTube, <laughs> so I had Mikey do it. You're welcome. Oh, look at this. Watch your news while you're getting ready. Oh, honey, the Dow has gone down today. See, uh, <laughs> That's it. Mikey's literally going to be singing in the rain because it's pouring out right now. <laughs> 325 9th Street, Manhattan Beach. Altman Brothers, latest, greatest listing, 5,899,000. Is this, is this Mikey approved? This is Mikey approved, man. Somebody come and get this. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment. Mikey, take us away with the song because it is raining, you know. Ha, ha, ha.